That's news coming as gyms, churches, and restaurants were ordered to move back outside completely as we enter the purple tier. But many are openly defying those rules. ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pizzetti shows us how one restaurant owner says he is not giving in by moving out. It's been a constant back and forth with moving indoors and outdoors, so some businesses are saying enough is enough, and they're ignoring the new restrictions. In Pine Valley. A nightmare for sure. Larry McNamer says he will not be closing his restaurant, Major's Diner. They're saying that they wanted us back outside, and we said no, absolutely not. Not going to do it. He shared his frustrations with ABC 10 News heading into the first weekend of restaurants forced to move completely outdoors and says the community heard that message. We had people coming in from the North County saying that they were coming in just to support us for staying open. And um, it was really nice to see that there was a lot of people that that care about the businesses and want us to stay open and are willing to fight alongside us with this thing. He says he is taking safety precautions. He's just leaving business indoors. And he says he's had just one call from the county health inspector asking him questions about his setup. And that's been the only interaction with authorities. He was just wondering, you know, kind of what our intentions really were that his uh, boss had asked him um, to call me and kind of find out where we were standing on this. McNamer adding that the cold mountain mornings make outside dining hard since he's only open for breakfast and lunch, saying he has no plans to budge no matter what the county says to him. I'm over not sleeping at night. So is my wife trying to figure out how we're going to pay our bills if we were, you know, to have to close uh, the inside and go back outside. And he is not alone. Other businesses are feeling the same frustration. So there is a rally plan for Monday afternoon. People will be meeting at 2.30, then coming here to the county admin building at 3.30 to rally and have their voices heard. They're hoping leaders listen to them and their plea for them to punish not the whole industry, but specific businesses who are not complying with restrictions. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News.